Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JS Word channel. Today I would like to show you how we can have the multiple values or images in one column in Q field and how we can modify uh, the values in Q field uh, similar to the QGIS. For example, if I come here, if I just select some uh, building here, one, two, three, four, for building for example i have the option in the Q uh, qjs modify the attribute of all selected feature at the same time and if i just come here for example to choose the usage to the residential and after that the save and if i just deselect and save the changes you see at the same time we had all result as a residential building and we would like to check it how we can do this uh, option in the Q field later on so to start the, our aim, so for example, here in the buildings layer, we would like to, and we have one uh, table, which is the images. If I just open the attribute table, you see the ID, parent ID, and photos. For photos, we consider for the photos and images, and the parent ID is a foreigner key, which is uh, related to our building, and this is the unique ID. And if I just come to the uh, building, uh, you see, for example, for this layer, we would like to have uh, the column exactly to be saved in this uh, table with the multiple images in one column. How we can start this project? So first of all, we must go to the project and properties. And you see here there is a relation. And if I just add the relation here, we can just name it as the images. And after that, the buildings, yes, is correct. And we would like to make a referencing child. It will be images and with the parent ID. And if I just OK, it will be coming here. And by apply, OK, so it will be connected. But if I just go right now here and just click to one building, you don't see these images has been added here. So we must go again to the building and properties. And here there is a relation has been added and just drag and drop. The images will be added. And if I just apply, OK, by clicking, it will be added here. And just uh, some important point, for example, in the images, if I just go to the properties, don't forget if I just go to the field and the parent ID as an integer and photos as a text because we would like to have the uh, images or file uh, into the, in, in the attachment uh, format. And if I just apply OK and going again to the images, attribute form photos here, the widget type by default in the QGIS is the text edit. And if I just, we must go to the attachment and here store path relative to the past project and after that the type image and even we can activate use hyperlink one document pass it will be helpful to see your images by clicking into the hyperlink and if i just apply okay it will be activated and if i just go to the building here again you see that this expression has been activated so right now we would like you know to uh, upload or sync our project from our uh, QGIS desktop to our Q field cloud. I already explained to the previous video how we can set up the Q field uh, cloud uh, project and you can just watch the previous video and uh, it's completely easy. If I just come to here, I uh, already created one uh, project, Q, uh, GIS board cloud function and if i just go here and here there is a button synchronize selected cloud project and here you see the result has been added building uh, gis word qgis has been uh, changed and if i just perform the action and just okay and just uh, close the project and if i go right now to my uh, uh, q field cloud like a tablet or mobile device you will see this project so let's go to the our device digital device for the digital data acquisition so let's start and open our q field app into our mobile device and if i open it and go into the q field cloud project here you need to add your username and password what you have and created for your q field account and i'm coming to the project and you see the project is here with the layer panel and so let's work on it so 
you would like for example into the, this building building number one just click and after that we have the building here just activating the editing uh, method and i would like to have the images multiple images in this column for example if i just click here taking the photo i'm just taking the photo here just save maybe i can also define uh, one uh, id for that and after that for example another one and uh, taking another photo for example from this view and if i just save it and giving one id later on is uh, very helpful to have this id for sorting our results so we already had two images here and if i just giving one usage for example residential and just saving here you see the result is here and if i just click here the building the images are here and after that the result so it was the for for example you can also have it up to the 10 images or 100 images uh, per column or per building in this way and i would like to check another functionality that uh, how we can you know change the attribute for example if i select the building one two and three and they are all three for example residential building and i don't want to click in the building one going to the building and uh, activating and giving the new usage and saving and coming back again and going to the uh, again to the building two i would like to have all of them in at the same time as exactly similar to what we can do it in the qgi so just clicking in this way and just taking putting your pan here and coming again to the map two three also we can add it uh, also more it doesn't matter how many and if i just activate the editing mode and if i just go here and just choose the residential here just save and if i just come here you see at the same time we could change they are all uh, or giving the new value uh, values for the usage of the building at the same time so it means you can save a lot of time in this way so this is the time to push the result into the uh, for the qgis and if i just go here here you see push the changes and here you see the change successfully added and if we go uh, to the QGIS desktop, you will see our result in the QGIS desktop. This is the time to come to the QGIS and synchronize what we have done in the QField Cloud and to see the result inside the QGIS desktop or, or into our project. By coming here again to the uh, QField and you, you have also the possibility QField Sync here. Uh, QField project overview and if I just come here again and if I just put here you see synchronized selected cloud project and if I you see the changes what we have done and if I just uh, perform the action here it takes a little time but it will be really fast and if I just okay you see here number one the building one and if I just click here and it, exactly we already assigned the usage as a residential and after that you see that these two images what we have uh, taken already these two images and we can just is uh, already activated as a hyperlink and if i just click you can also have this image as a hyperlink and here you see that this parent id is also written which is exactly connected to this object into the attribute table from the building they are you know related to each other and after that you can have also more images in one column and if I just come here again in this building one, two, and three, we also change the at the same time, you know, the, the usage to the residential. And if I just come here, you see the residential. And if I just go here again, residential and residential, and this is exactly the result in QGIS desktop, and our data are synchronized. I hope you enjoy from this video, and if you have any suggestion or question please let us know and if you have any also recommendation or suggestion for the new tips uh, related to the q field and q field cloud please write it down in the comment section and we will consider your request and we will pre uh, prepare and create a new videos for you thanks and bye